Today, we take a look at Grace. I'm probably going to butcher this. I hope it's somewhat correct. Is it Gioro? Gioro? I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys are French or just know how to pronounce this name. But we're going to, we'll just call her Grace, right? We'll make it easy. We'll call her Grace. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to mmoexp.com and use code Davis at checkout for 5% off your order. Now, I know her gold rare card has got a lot of use. I saw this card and I'm like, you know what? I do want to try her out because I never actually got a chance to use her gold rare card. We did pick her up for 380k, but I say it all the time. The sacrifice player review YouTubers have to make. She's probably dropped a lot. She'll be around maybe 300,000 coins. Uh, by the time you guys are watching maybe between 300 and 350k she is five foot six tall she's high high work rates she is only three star three star she's got 80 pace average shooting amazing passing respectable dribbling great defending great physical really want to mention that 91 interceptions and 93 stand tackle before the chem style boost that she has got under her defending play style wise she has got a couple passing ones being long ball pass and pinged pass with a first touch for ball control her play style plus is is a relentless plus which is just you know she's got 98 stamina so it's kind of expected but significantly increases fatigue recovery during halftime and extra time so she's a player that you will not need to sub off now we did go for a shadow chemistry style to give her that plus eight pace boost 93 acceleration and 84 sprint speed in game bringing her up to 88 pace but also just maxing those defending stats out her physical stats aren't crazy and she is only five six so you could definitely make a debate for an anchor but the reason i'm going for a shadow chem style is because we will be using her as a box to box Declan Rice is my left CDM on stay back Guillermo or Grace is going to be my balanced which works as a box to box number six even trends it's like in the middle of like a number six and number eight role you guys will see but she does operate box to box so I thought would go for the shadow would go for the pace boost but if you were to use her as a more defensive minded player then you'd definitely make a case for the anchor chem style without further ado lads let's get into it let's try her out and let's see is she worth the 350,000 coin price tag. Grace getting us started here. She feels agile. There we go, that's yours, definitely. Give that ball down to Rashford, that's a lovely pass as well. Rashford into Son, we're gonna take a touch, we're gonna, okay, that's just a great tackle then. I thought that was gonna be a penalty. Came in from the side, didn't look like he got the ball first. Switch a pitch, nice. Grace is there for it, kind of. A little bit jammy, but it would do. Oh my days, this game. This game. Come on, that is football. I, should, I shouldn't say football because it's just a classic cutback goal. It's it's FIFA, I should say. It's good FIFA. Grace wins it back off kickoff as well. As you can see, I'll leave that like full clip in. Grace was pretty involved with that attack, you know, running the midfield, just playing a nice one-two with Rashford, and it leads to a goal. Once again, under pressure, you feel safe with her. Lovely. Rashford. Go for one more into the box. Neymar, we've got time. Oh, yes. Go on, Grace. Grace and someone else just sandwiched him. Is that onside? I think that might be onside. Oh, it's not. It would have been so close. I think he was just, just past the halfway line, man. Oh. Still going. Oh, she gets tackled at the last second. Rashford. Rashford into Son. One more. That's beautiful. An amazing ball out to Rashford from Grace as well. A 4 1 win and a great performance from Grace in game number one. We'll jump into the second game, but I thought she was really good. Nice passing, good under pressure. Most importantly, though, she was involved in a couple of our attacks, building it up from the midfield exactly what you want to see I wouldn't say she you know blew my mind but she definitely did her job so good first game yes oh that's so unlucky man now Declan Rice gets it that's just EAFC in a nutshell man we get the interception of Grace we goes straight back to them so we get it with Rice straight back to them 
I will count it as an interception. That's good from Grace, and then EA just let us down, didn't they? Yes, Grace, get stuck in. Another interception. With interceptions this, this year, it's so often that if a player doesn't have the intercept play style, but just awful with interceptions, I swear maybe actually they fix that in the next patch because Grace's interceptions are absolutely phenomenal. She's got like, what, is that her fourth interception of the day? And it actually led to a goal as well, didn't it? Grace! Come on! Huge goal! I'm telling you guys, the box to box roll, she definitely has to get in front of net now and again. Only 76 shooting as well. So that's, that, that's, I think 76 shooting. It might be like 80 shooting. But it's either high 70s or very low 80s, right? Her shooting isn't the best. That's the moral of the story. So that was a rocket of a shot considering. Grace wins it back as well. She can do everything, man. She can really do everything. Scores a goal and wins it back. Amazing. 3-1 up going into the half. What a half from Grace, man. Interception, goal. What is that? Two tackles now. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. I'm impressed. And I believe that is going to be the rage quit. He's gone. Two games. Two amazing performances from Grace Gikioro. I think that's right. And jumping on over to the end screen, as you can see on the left in green is the pros. There's no cons today, simply because I couldn't find any cons with this card. We've got 85 acceleration, 92 short pass, 90 reactions, 91 interceptions, 93 stand tackle, and 98 stamina. Remember, this is before the chemistry style boost, so with a shadow or an anchor, that will make most of those stats even better. We've also put high, high work rates there. As a box-to-box, -box, high, high work rates is perfect. If you want to use her more defensively, which I simply wouldn't recommend doing simply because of her smaller body frame and she's not the strongest and also high high work rates so i think her best position is going to be a box to box center mid okay once again i used her as a right cdm on balanced with declan rice being my left cdm on stay back so she operated as a box to box in game in two games she picked up one goal she had an average of an 86 percent passing accuracy and she had an average of a 7.8 rating she can play as a center mid or a cdm and i do think you want to go for that shadow chem style as i said you could debate an anchor but you'd only do that if you want to use her defensively and i certainly don't think your best position is defensively all right so i think you want to use this card as a box to box with a shadow uh she is absolutely phenomenal if i have a look at her price right now i brought her for 380k let's have a look how rough my losses she's down to 320k so i'm looking at roughly 80,000 coins loss after tax but hey it's the stuff we do for the content so around 300,000 coins i feel like her price will settle at so for 300,000 coins lads do i think she's worth it that's the question you guys are all wondering and in my opinion yes i think 300 thousand coins or 330 thousand coins even for even 350 thousand coins she felt like a 300 350 thousand coin plus card in game so i will give her a big green tick and hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out